If you found this message, someone can't stop talking about your recent change in your appearance, your recent change in your attitude, okay? Whoever you are, you've got the attention of many people who knew you once upon a time because they're realizing they don't know you no more. You guys have totally done a 180 in your life and I'm hearing for the better. So maybe you were someone usually who could have been one way and now you're like the exact opposite, okay? Maybe... <laughs> Bottom of the deck, nine of cups. That's because people know you're going after your dreams now. So maybe you resonate with being someone who totally was a people pleaser in the past. People knew you for that. You could have been the type of person to always stayed at work late, always picked up those extra shifts, always did anything you can to help friends and family. And now people be seeing you are much more focused on your own dreams, okay? You ain't always saying yes to everything and you most certainly aren't being viewed as a people pleaser anymore. And it's got people feeling kind of some type of way. It's almost as if you were always that person that they could count on would be the pushover. I'm feeling like family functions, like, oh, I need you to bring this. Oh, yeah, I got it. And you'd show up with like double that. Now people are like scared to call or scared to ask. Okay, you could definitely resonate with being a water sign, an earth sign, or a Sagittarius. But yeah, people are viewing you as someone who's incredibly balanced now in your own life. And before, you used to overextend yourself to those you cared about. And especially in the fact when it comes to your close loved ones, okay? People always thought you were the type two that was never going to get married, never going to get settled down. And now you've had some type of recent glow up in your life as well, where people can tell like you'd be looking good, you'd be acting different. And most importantly, that divine is preparing you for your divine counterpart. And also you could have been someone who was never picked in love, but now you got all the options and people really see it. Okay. Feminine or masculine, people are viewing you as someone who's very much so free spirited, hardworking, and most importantly, focused on creating a stable future for yourself. And in the past, maybe you were more so just go with the flow. You did things to make others happy. You were always hardworking. You're always loyal and dedicated to people, but it's like to the wrong situations, to the wrong people, to the wrong jobs, to the wrong careers. And people really see that now for what it is. A lot of you could have had to go through some type of difficult struggle, overcoming toxicity or letting go of toxic relationships there with that uh, devil energy in reverse. But yeah, people view you as well, who someone maybe before you weren't connected to spirit the way you are now. It's almost as if you are a walking testament for God as well and showing how much God can help you overcome in your life when you truly believe in him. So people could have watched you make a turnaround as well from being like absolutely frustrated when it came to opportunity, love, career, finances. Maybe this is why you're always overworking yourself. I'm hearing at a nine to five job, okay? Maybe you worked at an office before. Bunch of click, click, clicks, okay, with my nails clicking there. So you could always felt like you're like outcasted and stuff, but you were always the one that was kind to people. You were always the one to stay late. You were always the one, like I said, with family to do extra for them. And then when you ever needed a hand, no one was there, okay? Spirit was trying to show you to give more to yourself. Yes, we're allowed to do that. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys maybe even feel selfish knowing that you're stepping into your self-love era. No, okay? Let go of the burdens. Let go of the feeling, is this too much? Am I doing too much? Am I going after too much? Am I hurting other people's feelings? It's creating confusion in your life. See that right there, that lion? That's divine. That's divine protecting over you and leading you forward. Right now is all about you. This chapter is meant to be about you, your passions, your endeavors, your goals, and your dreams. Because some of you may be in your late 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, however you resonate, and you're realizing you didn't spend enough time in your earlier days of your life focused on your dreams, and now you're trying to play catch up to get back to that situation. That was all meant to happen, okay? This is something you could have repeated as well, a cycle in a previous lifetime as well. Something where you always overgave to other people, overgave to your partners, overgave to your friends, your family, jobs especially is what I'm hearing, and you never put in enough into yourself. Maybe some of you always wanted a specific career goal as well, but then you're stuck doing a job in the total opposite. Spirit's like, how are you ever supposed to get there from point A to point B if you don't allow divine to do his job? So right now, you're being asked to let go and let God. If you found this message today, y'all, it's okay to be focused on yourself. I feel like some of you are creating unnecessary headaches, Spirit saying as well, by being so worried. Is it the right thing to invest too much into yourself and kind of take a step back from people, places, and situations that no longer serve you? The answer is no. That means you're stepping up into your divinity and you're truly realizing what it means to make yourself happy.
I really feel like you could be someone who resonated with always having relationships or friends or people or situations to make you happy. And then you overexerted yourself for them. Okay, this is a very specific message for someone. You're going to meet that right loving partner when you're in your self love era, when you put yourself on that pedestal, and you truly give yourself the goals, the aspirations, the dreams and the love that you feel like you never received. That is when you're going to meet a person who values you the same as well. So if you found this message today, it's truly for a reason to know that you're not being selfish by wanting more for yourself or out of your own life. And also, too, if you feel like friends are falling off or opportunities are falling off, that's merely alignment happening, okay? That's universe manifesting and making room for towers to fall for your new happiness. Look at that. So water your garden, point, proven, come through spirit. Spirit wants you to know it's important at this moment in time through all these shifts in your evolution in life to really take care of yourself, to nurture yourself, and more importantly, to water your own garden. Nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. So some of you as well could have been overworking yourselves and not getting enough sleep. You're being called out. For others of you, you may be getting enough adequate sleep, but you're not allowing yourself to go into a self-care regime. So doing things you love outside of working on your career, if you're focused on achieving some type of wish fulfillment when it comes to career right now, Spirit's saying it's all about balance, okay? Allow yourself to have a little bit of fun in that work time or outside that work time because if it's like all work, no play makes for a very dull day. Okay, so I really feel like that's someone's message as you're transitioning into this new period of your life, this newfound success, this newfound happiness. Remember, it's okay to have fun too. And most importantly, it's okay to love yourself. Okay, if you found this message, everyone who truly loves and supports you will back you every step of the way. A lot of them are just confused because they've seen you spend so much of your life not believing in yourself and not giving to yourself the way that you do for other people around you. So I hope this message found you well. I'm sending you lots of love and reassurement in this time that this is your path forward. You're about to have major victory, success, happiness, and all the stuff that comes with it. And if you're too focused on love or people around you or people that are dropping out your life, you're never going to be able to go after what it is you truly want. So take this as a sign and take this as a blessing. All these transformations are being led by divine and you're being protected by spirit right now to truly go after what it is that is your heart's desire. Have an amazing day. Go ahead, like the video, subscribe, and God bless y'all.